Welcome. Good to see you, Jay. I know you have a couple of questions to fire at me. But I am definitely um, trying to get this mic right. There we go. Excited about this year's team. Um, I'm excited that uh, I know we put the work in to compete at the high level. Um, really excited that uh, we have five returning starters. In my eight years, that's the first time I can ever say that. Five returning starters, along with uh, Jalen Key, who set out last season with a shoulder injury, and he's back. And we all know that he started, I don't know, 15, 16 games as a sophomore. Um, I'm excited that we have, we are too deep at every position. So if someone goes down, the next man up mentality is really going to help this team. Um, we're almost three deep at some positions. And I think uh, depth is definitely one of our strengths. I'm kind of still in Golden State's fire when they say uh, it's strength in numbers. And I think, uh, especially from our first scrimmage, especially watching practices, when you can play 10, 12 players, it makes every practice very, very competitive. Uh, I like our senior leadership and their experience. You know, it starts with Levi Bradley and Lacey James and Tommy and Dante Thorpe, and then you throw in our two redshirt seniors of Jalen Key and uh, Lacey James. It just gives you uh, the experience that you've been through, you know, preseason conditioning. You've been through a non-conference tough schedule in other years, and they've been through the MAC multiple years. So I think that experience alone is going to help our guys, um, especially when we get into MAC play. Especially we w when we get into uh, close games. I think this team is still searching for its identity. It's one of those things that uh, is part of the process. Uh, over time, we're definitely going to uh, uh, find it. But I think our staples are still in place, um, where we're going to play with great energy, great effort, and we're going to have great leadership. And we're going to be we're going to be definitely together as a team. So maybe the identity isn't where we want it right now, but we're still two and a half weeks from our first game, and then we have 12 games to figure it out before the first MAC game. I think this is a very competitive group. Um, this is a hard working group. Um, I, I think it started um, last spring, but it lasted throughout the summer when our freshmen and our junior college players got here that uh, they learned what it takes to work hard at the Division One level, and I thought our seniors uh, definitely led the way showing them how competitive and how devoted and how focused you have to be to get better every day. I thought this, I, I think this group is already, uh, I'm proud of this group because they put the extra time in. They're coming in uh, on off days, they're staying after practice, they're watching video on their own, they're getting together with their teammates and, and, and pushing guys to do the little things to make sure this is a successful season. I think uh, for us to improve on last year's uh, team, um, and our, especially our win-loss record, it's going to have to start on the defensive end. Um, you know, the words we always use with our student athletes, they have to stay locked in on every single possession. And that's what we're challenging them to do. I think if we can get better in four areas, as in the, our field goal defense, our three-point defense, our rebounding, enforcing turnovers, I think this group can be successful. Um, on the offensive end, for us to be successful, uh, we have to keep improving our outside shooting. And to do that, you have to do a lot more shooting and practices, but you also have to come back extra what our guys are, with what our guys have been doing. Uh, I think to be successful on the offensive end, we have to limit turnovers. Uh, when you take care of the ball, it gives you a better opportunity to win games and stay in the games. So uh, I know last year we averaged 12 turnovers a game. If we can keep that thing under 10, we definitely can be successful. I think another key on the offensive end is us sharing the ball. Um, we have to keep improving on getting our teammates shots where they can make and continue to have good ball movement. And I'm happy with this so far in the fall 
that uh, throughout one scrimmage, if you ever come to a practice, you can see that our guys are making a conscious effort to make or to have more assists. Um, and our last thing on the offensive end, um, we have to take and make good shots. I think shot selection uh, is going to be a key. You have to know your shot, when to take it, or when to pass the ball off to your teammate. Uh, I think uh, this team could definitely compete with the uh, top teams in the MAC. Just looking back through last season, we beat five of the six top teams or top seeds in the tournament. So if we could be more consistent, definitely on the road, you will definitely see us move up in the standings. Um, but to do that, it's not easy. We have to constantly continue to, to buy in in practices. We have to keep improving daily. Um, once again, I think our schedule is uh, very competitive. You know, some of the highlighted teams that we're facing this year, um, before we get into MAC, uh, play, we have uh, Northern Kentucky twice. Northern Kentucky won the Horizon lead regular season the last two years. Um, we're in a good tournament over Thanksgiving where we play Oral Roberts, James Madison, and Oakland University. Very competitive mid-major uh, tournament that is definitely going to push us. Um, we return from that. We go to, uh, we travel to Green Bay on, I think, a two-day rest. So. That's going to be a challenging midweek game, and Green Bay is, you know, they have a good program, good coach, good players. Um, I think right before finals, we have UC Davis on the schedule where they're the defending Big West champions regular season. So that's Coach Les' team who's from this state, so I know he's going to have his guys ready to play. Right before finals, we travel to – Butler and play a good Big East team that made the NCAA tournament. Uh, I guess we have to catch our breath over finals and then get ready for a, a three game stretch where we have Chicago State, um, Western Illinois, and then we have the return, the return trip to Northern uh, Kentucky. So that's going to be challenging. We try to enjoy Christmas and then we come back and we play a top 10 team in Michigan State, so that'll be a big game for us. Um, I think uh, going down our roster with our players, uh, we start with the seniors, uh, Levi Bradley. Uh, you have the stats right there in front of you. Anytime you have a guy that could, uh, uh, he's averaged 15 points, five rebounds. Um, in my mind, I think he's one of the best forwards in the lead. He just has to do it on a consistent basis. Um, we're expecting big things from Levi Bradley. Uh, other seniors, Dante Thorpe, who is, uh, he had shoulder surgery in the off season. Um, before he went out, he was averaging 12 points, shooting 50% from the field. Uh, Dante Thorpe uh, is our best defender, so he's going to be guarding the best players on the opposite team, but also he can definitely score the basketball. Uh, Tommy D, 6'7", uh, versatile forward that can play multiple positions. He has a year under his belt. He's gotten stronger. He's gotten, he's put a lot of time in in the summer. So I expect think big things from Tommy. Our red shirt seniors are Jalen Key and Lacey James. It just gets us more depth inside. Uh, I always like to look back through Jeremy's stats where Lacey James, the last 13 games, he was averaging eight points and almost shooting 60% from the field. And he's one of our best rebounders. Jalen Keyes coming off a sophomore season where he averaged eight points. He's gotten stronger in the off season. Um, I think I've seen the biggest jumps definitely in practice from Jalen and after the first scrimmage against Omaha that uh, uh, he's going he's gonna to have a heck of a um, what I consider junior year, but he's a redshirt senior. Our juniors, it starts with Eugene German, all-conference second teamer, uh, led the MAC in scoring. I think uh, – Eugene's going to have a huge uh, junior year, and um, we're expecting big things out of him. Uh, Noah McCarty, um, another four slash five man, has gotten stronger uh, in the off season. He's playing with a lot more confidence. I can just see his minutes going up. Noah's kind of like our junkyard dog, where he's always in the right place at the right time, and he makes big plays. Our junior college transfer 
Alizé Travis. Um, what I like about Alizé, he comes from a, a winning tradition where he led his uh, junior college team to two uh, national championship games. He won one and lost one. So he's a pure point guard that is definitely always looking to get his teammates involved. Uh, very competitive young man. Our sophomore class starts with Safir Dow, who started over 20 games as a freshman. Um, Safir, uh, I can't say much about his offseason because he got stuck in Australia, but I can tell you once he got back to the States, he's hit the ground running. Uh, very competitive young man that I can see is playing major minutes. Rod Henry Hayes is probably um, one of the better outside shooters on our team. He's gotten stronger. He should see more minutes his sophomore season. And another junior college uh, transfer, uh, Zaire Mateen, who has three years left of eligibility. He's a uh, energetic uh, guard that can play multiple positions. And he's going to definitely bring a spark to this team. Our two walk-ons, Caleb and Brandon uh, Donowski, um, what I love about them, they have nothing but energy and effort every day in practice, very positive, very good students, and they're going to help us on the scout team. We have three promising freshmen that uh, have the opportunity to contribute, um, but they have to fight for minutes just like everyone else. Uh, Austin Ritchie um, comes from Don Bosco uh, at prep school. He's probably our best. Uh, distant three-point shooter, Justin Lee. I like his his versatility and his length. And, and Trendon Hankerson, just his ability to be a coach on the floor and have a great feel for the game. Um, you know, closing comments uh, about uh, a little bit about the, the MAC conference. Once again, it's loaded. It's, it's going to be very, very competitive. I know uh, the Kim Pond ratings, he kind of rates the best conferences in the, co in, in the country, and the MAC conference right now is ranked 12th. And that's very, very impressive. So hopefully the committee can recognize that, and maybe we can get multiple bids uh, for once. But, uh, you know, it says a lot for this league, and, and I think Buffalo uh, showed how competitive our league is and how successful our league can be in the tournament, which – they went and won a game last year. But the early favorite is Buffalo. Uh, they have four starters coming back from NC18. Um, Eastern Michigan's a favorite on our side. Ball State, Toledo, Kent State, Western Michigan. The usual foes that we have to play against um, once or twice a season. So it's definitely, definitely going to be competitive. But I'm excited that you know, when you start mentioning the Buffaloes, the Eastern Michigans, the, the Western Michigan, uh, Ball State, um, we beat five of the top six teams. So I know that we could compete with the best teams in the MAC. I expect us to compete with the best teams in the MAC and be right there when it's when it's time to come March that we're in Cleveland and playing for this MAC championship. Um, easier said than done. Um, we have to put our time in. We have to practice hard. We have to stay focused. Um, we have to limit distractions. And I think this team can definitely be very, very successful. And we have to win some road games. What do you have for me, Jay? Well, we already started working on it early that uh, it seems like sometimes we're in the road games and we're across uh, campus practicing in a neutral facility to get our guys uh, used to playing in other gyms. <clears throat> but other than that, we tried to, uh, our first two scrimmages are on the road. We went on the road and played Nebraska-Omaha. We're going on the road this weekend. We're playing Milwaukee. So uh, we we made sure our Thanksgiving tournament was on the road uh, at Oakland against other competition. So we want to play road games to get us ready for MAC play. You know, to win road games, um, your guys have to, uh, you have to be tough. You have to, you have to play smarter than the other team. You have to uh, be locked in. You have to concentrate. But you also have to have a belief that you can win road games. We've done it in the past, if you look back the last 
other than last season, but the seasons before, we've always almost played 500, had a 500 record on the road in some of our, our, our previous seasons. This team is capable, and it's going to happen this year because we're going to have some seniors to push us over the top and make sure we make winning plays down the stretch. Well, I'm trying to put I'm trying to put last year behind me, um, but since you brought it up, for some reason we didn't score more points than another team. We didn't shoot a good percentage. We turned the ball over too many times, and uh, um, we're just we're a young team last year, so um, we have to uh, make sure our film study, our shoot arounds practices before games, we have to just make sure this group is locked in um, to the fullest to give us ourselves the opportunity. We had opportunities, we just didn't close games out. If it was late Kent State, tie score, chance to win the game, maybe one or two free throws there could have did it. Or if it was a few less turnovers, or you know, executing a a baseline out of bounds or getting that defensive stop. Um, we just have to do a better job this year. And um, we're doing a lot more um, two minute, four minute situational scrimmages to get them ready to uh, be prepared. Well, you, gotta hold, you have to hold serve at home, definitely, if you want to uh, contend for a, a MAC championship and, and keep rising in the standings. Um, you know, this place is, is special to us. You know, we, we practice here every day. We have a great facility, great new scoreboard. We have our home fans. They're always good for, you know, anywhere from six to ten points. Uh, we need that same confidence on the road. Um, we, we plan on winning home games. You have to win home games. That's going to help build confidence. Um, so we just have to, you know, knock on wood, continue to win at home. <clears throat> I think in certain ways it benefited them. Um, it seemed like uh, any feedback you get from the lead that you want to go to can only help. Um, what I saw this summer that um, um, him f facilitating, him trying to get teammates open shots, him concentrating on defense, I think some of that was the feedback from the lead he's trying to get to. Um, but ultimately, winning helps you get to that lead or to help your professional career. So I think he knows that he can't do it by himself. He's made an inserted effort in practice to get his teammates involved. <clears throat> you said the strength of the 14 tournament in Oakland. Um, you know, you have uh, three different teams from three different conference, uh, um, conferences. Um, Oakland's always tough. They don't many. They don't lose many home games. Um, Coach Camp, he's been around for 30 some years. Very, very respected uh, program. You know, it seems like uh, his program reminds me a lot of Iowa State's that they always have transfers. They always have guys that can definitely play at a higher level. That's gonna be a, our third game of the tournament, which is Sunday. So that third game is always a tricky game. I know Oral Roberts and James Madison, um, their programs are on the rise. Um, so. Uh, they have tradition. Uh, they have size. I try not to read too many of the preseason magazines, but uh, it's going to be a challenge uh, um, because we don't see those teams. We don't play a lot of common teams that they play, but just talking to other coaches and other leads, they are definitely well coached. Um, they're athletic and um, they play disciplined basketball. So we're going to have to be at our best early in the season when we play those teams. <clears throat> um, Noah McCarty, well, you know, he's a junior, so I expect his, uh, uh, his leadership, for one. 
Um, I expect that he can make sure he brings great energy and effort every day in practice, and you get that. Noah never shortens you on effort and making tough plays. He has a nose for the basketball. Um, you know, it, it's, it seems like I just want a healthy Noah McCarty. Um, first scrimmage, he only got to play a half where, you know, um, maybe a little under the weather, maybe a, a little bit of he makes the tough plays. But uh, uh, Noah, his game has expanded a little bit. Um, he's a good rhythm shooter out to three. Um, he has a good right hand jump hook. Um, but he just plays with toughness. And you need toughness when you're going to win uh, basketball games. And that's what he brings. Well, I hope it's going to be a special day and we can walk away um, uh, with a W. But anytime you can go to a place that you played and um, you got a chance to coach there, uh, it, it's going to be emotional. going to have a lot of family members there, a lot of friends, a lot of old faces that uh, when you work at a place for 10 years, it's a lot of fond memories. Um, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to go, go back and play. And hopefully, I remember the last coach that went there was uh, Stan Joplin. That was assistant. And Stan brought his Toledo team in, and they made 19 threes. And they end, up beat, they end up beating us at the time. I was at Michigan State by one point. So hopefully we can make 19 threes, and uh, um, we can come away with a, a W. Um, but, uh, you know, that's down the line. But it's going to be interesting. I never went to the visitor's locker room. I always liked our plush locker room. Uh, you know, it's going to be interesting. Uh, Commenting before the game, what uh, it meant to be coached by Coach Izzo, um, coached beside him, and played for him. So um, I'm going to try to keep my emotions intact. Uh, maybe I'll let my assistants coach in practice that week because uh, uh, we're definitely going to be charged up and excited to play them. Well, right away, um, you know, you have to have more wins than losses. Um, I want to trend back up in the other direction. Uh, I thought last year we left um, a lot on the table. Um, um, I want to make sure this team keeps improving. Um, this team tries to limit distractions. But we have enough to compete um, with all these other teams in the MAC. So a successful season for me is um, with the last couple of weeks of the season, um, we're getting ready to win a MAC championship, and we're positioning ourselves to make a run in Cleveland. And once you get to Cleveland, anything can happen. But definitely more wins than losses. Well, what we have coming back, when you have five starters and four other guys that uh, have experience coming off the bench, <clears throat> you should expect big things, and that's what I expect. Well, the bar is set high. Um, it doesn't matter where we're picked. It's set high in our locker room. It's set high daily in practice, daily when they're coming, getting extra shots, when they're lifting weights. Um, you have five starters back. It should be set high. And I expect us to uh, have positive results. And, and it's tricky because, you know, you have to stay free of injuries and some things have to bounce your way. But I like the direction it's going right now. And um, we plan on looking down on teams and stop looking up on teams. <laughs>